<laughs> we did it. Good afternoon. Hi, sorry. That's okay. I I, I, I guess I didn't find send, that anywhere. I probably didn't send it right. You know how men are. <laughs> so oh, how don't be too hard on yourself. Ah, it's part of life, you know. So how's everything going? Is the graduation went good and all that then? Oh, really good. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. Easy, but good. Yeah. Yeah, I figured you were a busy person for sure. <laughs> Plus, yeah. everybody's wanting to interview you for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's like, get, get her back, get her back. I'm like, well, she's busy. I mean, <laughs> do what we can. Yeah, we do what we can. So I just kind of jotted some stuff down. Uh, not very organized on that part, but uh, there was some, I get a lot of questions about the RH negative blood. Uh huh. So uh, I don't know where we can dig in on it, but there's a couple of questions that follow that, that lead to that. So I, I guess a lot of people are asking where, where does it come from? I mean, obviously everything comes from God, but you know, did, did this blood type come from a different world or other beings? Maybe, I don't know. There's definitely something different about it for sure. Yeah, for sure. We'll ask about it. I didn't know if you had went down that road before, but I'm sure you have at some point. A long time ago, Guy and I looked into it. When huh. Guy was asking me questions online, like um, on the videos, oh. we asked about it and we got a bit about it, but it would be good to dive into it because that was a couple of years ago. Yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of things that kind of go in hand in hand with that kind of sort of. Yeah. So RH negative blood, what's the significance of it? Or, or where, where did the origins come from? Um, yeah. Not sure how to ask that question. Well, we could just look all around. What uh, can we, um, what does the universe want to tell us about it? Yeah. And then go there, go from there like we've done before. Yeah. That and sounds then you great. can narrow it down from there. That sounds great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to do that now? Sure. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. I know you shuffle a lot of cards every day. Yeah. They're not just some cards, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I do shuffle a lot of cards for sure. Oh, boy. Okay. So let's see. And for so many years, I, I can't even, it's just my. Like, How long have you been doing it roughly? 35 years. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. I've been obsessed about it, frankly. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's good. Okay, so hmm, five, six, six. So it seems to be uh, maybe a mixture of different things, and different people react to having it differently because this card sort of uh sixes are good though so it doesn't have to be a bad thing or a good thing or it's not evil to have it or uh, obviously a lot of people have it actually uh, but i feel like we they might have been mixed with some other kind of beings way back in the day but it would have been a long time ago so, like when uh, you there's see a lot there's a lot of strength to it and it's probably an ancient form of uh sort of blood type i guess because this is would have been around a really long time and it seems to give certain strengths to people that other people may not have certain things that they could maybe do that we couldn't do if we didn't have it okay and it's all about how you use it so the question is are you aware you have that and uh, you would probably have to activate or study or train uh, how to utilize uh, your special gifts somehow. So it's definitely different and unique, but I feel like there's human and some other energy there. We could look further into where does the other elements come from? It's not entirely human with a 60%. I asked for a percentage of. Wow. So it's got some other worldly off worlder type influence, which would make sense because in all of the ancient drawings and a lot of the myths, there's been other beings and nobody seems to talk about it. You know what I mean? Like Correct. shaped heads and 
bird-headed beings and winged beings and where where are these creatures coming from they're not just drawing them for fun they must have seen them absolutely they seen them they were probably at a campsite right next to them if you want to know the truth <laughs> right yeah. yeah but you know a lot of people are saying you know that it's evil and you know my my feeling on that is that depends on the individual because mm-hmm. you know we as humans have positive and negative beings that's just the way it is and so do yeah. aliens are not necessarily bad or, yeah. I, and they don't even like that word i mean they other, don't even other worlders that's a good way to put it thanks yeah. yeah no it's all about how they use it it's all about how it's, it can go good or bad You've got the wheel of fortune so it's uh it's spinning right so it's karmically your karma you're going to create karma if you misuse it Right. So if you're going to use your abilities for negative and and we know that uh, a lot of the royal families look for certain blood types, a lot of them actually have that blood type. Yes, ma'am. And and a lot of them are misusing their uh, riches, wealth, elite status and ability to do whatever the heck they want. Right. Right. Uh, and they've been doing that for a really long time. Right. Uh, yeah. Hiding in plain sight. They're bad uh, uh, sort of little nasty habits and creepy things they do, you know, like those yearly or every six months they have that big um, uh, hunting parties, you know, yeah. all the creepy things they we know they do. And it, we've yeah. been knowing we've been finding this out for a long time and people keep burying it and authorities keep covering it up we're not going to stand for it anymore no no we are not no this i think they look for a blood type uh that aligns with or has the ability to you know do certain things like they say shape shifting is one of the things that the blood type has potential to do or you'd have more potential and i think those uh, bloodline families are looking for those kind of abilities Correct. Yeah, you're. There's no doubt. You're right on that. Uh, but I'm getting that you could use it really benevol- benevolently as well. So you could actually have uh, p- extra power for generosity and uh, goodness, because this card's a really good card and very generous, and um, a really good uh, attract attracting abundance. You could be really good at that as well. And of course, you can always use that abundance for good. And let's hope everybody does, right? Yeah, like going forward, I think we're going to be more uh, aware of these things. And that's why it's all happening. That's why we're finding it all out. I think, I think part of the evolution process is that we're going to step it up a notch as humans, stop sleeping on the job, make ourselves and others accountable for their action, yeah. and um, be more true to our potential which is amazing we have amazing potential for yeah. love and generosity compassion i think we're going to use it more i think you're right there's no doubt we are definitely going to use it right I, I i mean i guess you can't say everybody will but the majority will and the majority is what you know what feeds everything yeah no doubt and, and we're going to be watching and maybe making more noise if they're not instead of covering up for bad behavior right making excuses for uh losers you know like the way the elites have behaved think about hollywood their behavior and we're busy like just uh, laughing it off and making excuses it's like no way yeah this is getting old no doubt about it and uh god i hope more people stand up they will though i mean that's Mm -hmm. not even a question they will they're going to start getting in their local communities and all the things we talk about it's 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 happening yeah so uh are you good on that one? Because that answered a lot of questions. I think yeah. we definitely know it's ancient. Uh, it definitely yeah. come from some other type of being. We can use our imagination there. Uh, so there is a there is a compound called R H O D I U M. Have you heard of that before? No. It's it's a it's a compound, and I have it here. And I I don't know if you can see that very well. R H Okay. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. So I'm just going to read just a little bit of this. This is a chemical element with the symbol RH, ironically. And it's an, it's an atomic number 45, ironically. So I wish Tom was on here, right? Interesting. <laughs> well, 
so there's there's a, a small group of us that researched on this while we were also searching for the RH negative. And this is all we could find on this. And there's more to it than that. Uh, what we also found out was all of the deep state takeovers, let's just say Minnesota, let's say New York, California, and so on, they all mine this. So somehow this ties into them scumbags. I don't know how, but I promise you it does. Right. Uh, do you think you should spell it for your audience or do you feel? Yeah, uh, let's do that because there was a lot of research that went into this and it, we just, we kept drawing blanks and blanks and blanks and yeah. duck duck is the only place that we could find anything significant. Okay. But So yeah. it's R-H-O-D-I-U-M. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but R R Ramadan, Ramad, something like that. Does that sound right to you? Yeah, I, I wouldn't know how to pronounce it, but I have seen that word. Some, have you really? Somewhere. I don't know where. Awesome. It looks familiar, but let's see what the cards. Going in blind with cards is a good thing because okay. we have no preconceived ideas. So we're just stabbing in the dark with the cards, and that can be a good thing. Right. <laughs> let's see it what we come up with. It's something worth a lot of money. We did find that part okay, out. That's a money card, and it's what it's worth. Uh, you know, it's it's precious to somebody, right? Clearly, those groups, it's precious, precious to. We got an ace. Uh, okay, they use it for covert and hidden activities, and it has something to do with communication or maybe even. Um, a system that uh, sends messages Ooh. because uh, Ace of Swords sends messages or s speaks out about something, goes on the airwaves. I wonder if it has something to do with a communication mechanism. Um, and this is a very covert card. So maybe they, they mine it because the thing helps them be send communications that are very covert and can't be traced. It's sold or maybe out. Maybe it helps cover up a money system that can't be traced. That's very interesting. It's definitely deep state dark cult. That was the next card. So I, I was like, where does it, you know, who who wants it the most? Yeah. The bad guys. Wow. The bad guys. Um, it's ancient, it's been used for a really long time. It connects to an ancient knowledge. Uh, that's way beyond our uh, capacity. So it's something they're making that we don't, we haven't caught up to yet. Like they're keeping us in the dark about most, uh, like we're way more advanced uh, apparently, but they've kept all of that secret and not known to us. So that's why uh, these elites get way ahead and they're doing all of these things and we can't even fathom it. Yeah. They got billions of dollars and they're jet setting all over the world. It seems like a mo from moment to moment, they're in different places. Interesting because we got that there was an underground railway that can take moments to get, like yeah. you can jump jump on there and you can get in into it underneath in particular, like I'm sure lots of places, but in particular, the Denver airport guy and i that got place back. that place is spooky yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. so it connects to an ancient wisdoms uh some kind of something that's probably they found out from off-worlders okay uh they're 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 gonna lose it all though something's upset their mining of it or their consumption of it or their what they're doing with it or it's been they messed with so a lot of things have been cut off from them right everything of gotta, value for their dark side has been pretty right. much yeah all you got to do is look at look did you see the uh oscars yeah just part okay. yes okay that was the mickey mouse's looking rinky dink oscars i've ever seen in my entire life 
I couldn't yeah. even believe it. And they had what three stars that you could even recognize. That's about it. Exactly what I said when I looked at it a couple of weeks ago. Right. I'm like, okay, you're not going to see any of the usuals. No, you didn't see any of them. You saw three or four, and we're not even sure those guys were real. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you think they would have done real good with you know with some artificial intelligence and all the stuff they do, but mostly that's probably been cut off too. If you want their to know knee, the truth, yeah, they're cut off at the knees. I I tell you, well, that yeah. was the funniest, weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Right. So, is this compound or this chemical? Maybe it's used to part of the brain wars and the control thing. Or would you? What would you put that? How would let's you ask? ask that. Let's ask, does it have something to do with what you just said? Okay. Because that communication card kind of yeah. does interesting. So we'll see if we get a yes on that. We'll see if my intuition's right. Okay. Let's check it out. What's your birth sign, Dave? Uh, I'm Aquarius. Oh, you're an Aquarius. Perfect. Well, it's the age of Aquarius, so you're going to fit right in. Right. So we've got the fool. Okay, it gets weirder than that. Really? Yeah, it has something to do with communication and so, some kind of movement of things around. Hmm. And it might even be added to something that might have something to do with that party substance that I talk about that, uh, that involves infants and children. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know how it, how it ties into that. Me I, neither. Know, maybe the production of it. Something. Something that drives how it's, because they, they mass produce it as well as. I know. Individual sort of consumption like H. Clinton was known to do, right? Right. Like there were, there were well, thumbs apparently with large rooms full of people they were utilizing for that very thing yeah so maybe there's something uh they they use use that substance for to do with keeping it fresh or something horrifying like that and it may enhance it so my intuition definitely told me a tie to that before i even ask you and i meant to ask you last time but i i got sidetracked but okay. it, it enhances it or it there's no doubt in my mind it has something to do with it and yeah. It's the mines are sold out two to three years ahead of time. All the wow. mines are sold out before okay, they even well, mine it. Don't forget that this bunch, their biggest pursuit in their life is pleasures and at the expense of us humans. Right. And everybody around them. Like uh, they have no thought for anybody's but their own immediate pleasure. So that's actually what's getting them in so much trouble too. Even their own kids, people don't realize. Yeah. Oh, they're, yeah. They're turning oh, yeah. their three and four year old kids into, yep. uh, I don't even know what word to use. Uh, yeah. Not the sex they were born. Let's put it that way. Yeah. And, and never mind, they're also SRAing their children. Right. And that think it's good for them. Okay. And then those kids end up getting monarch programmed, uh, all of those kind of programmings. Uh, some of them, they lend them to other people. It's it's horrible. Yeah, it it really uh. It's it, horrifying. It seems like the more that's we. How those, oh, go ahead. Like they believe that's how those kids are going to have a good life. The, uh, their idea of a good life is just have stuff and whatever they want, like um, pleasures. Yeah, like you said with Anderson Cooper. I mean, honestly, uh, I. Yeah. He is who he is, but uh, I mean, honestly, he was born into that. So yeah. what chance did he ever have in life? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and apparently like Mr. B.O., I, I call him B.O., I know I get in trouble for that. But you know who I'm talking about? Big Mike's man there. Yeah. Uh, he was apparently, Juan Osavin talks about it, where he was passed around and nothing about his life's real. It right. was all monarch 
programming. He doesn't even know who he is. And that makes sense. He has so many what they call alters. So that makes sense because he was kind of a little, uh, he seemed not really with it all the time. And people right. thought it was part of his personality, but I think he was zoning out because he's, you know, he's flipping into these different alters just to, just to get through the day. And you know, what's funny. He was, he was, he was very popular, even though we know there was some things that happened to get him in there Yeah. in general, that guy, I, I'm not saying I ever liked what he did, but yeah. I, without people knowing all this, this really bad stuff. Yeah. He was a popular president. Yeah. But that just shows you how they can present something to be the exact opposite. And it's not, uh, yeah, they just, they completely programmed him so well that he could fool the masses. Right. And he was a good speaker in general. Uh, You know what I mean? Yeah. He had a way that was likable. Well, they programmed him to be like that. Yeah, I got to say, I was never fooled, but I, I know good people that was fooled by that. Yeah, I was totally fooled. Never mind. Really? My wow. son is, uh, his dad's Caribbean, and we were just so excited that uh, right. uh, somebody from uh, a different culture other than your usual that gets in to be the president of the United States. You know no, you're saying? right. That was, we were just so excited. The, like his side of the family, they were just so everybody was cutting them all this slack because they were so excited to give him a really good chance. And then he just got every year worse and worse and did worse things it was so disheartening by the by the end i was so disgusted with him i couldn't even and i guarantee you after the four years there was definitely some 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 things at the voting places that helped him win that i'm sure yeah you bet now we know we know what we know now thank god you're right thanks to thanks to 45 right pretty much I didn't start out a 45 lover. But I know. Let me tell you, I'm a big fan now. <laughs> there's, well, there's a lot of things he said, so that, that just turns people off. It doesn't uh, turn me off because I like it, but yeah. I can see where it would turn off my mother, for example. Yeah. She loves him now. She used to hate him. Yeah. She loves him. When she I found think out it that was CNN that really did the smear job. So it just shows it, you how good they are at it. It was like this, like 24 hours a day. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm like, God, this guy don't have a chance. Yeah. Um, okay, so I, I I'm pretty satisfied with that because that went right with my intuition, and uh, unfortunately, I knew it was tied in. I, I wished it wouldn't have been, but of course it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so the next thing, a totally separate subject, is they've been pulling some electronic devices down at the White House. And this was just the other day, and they're going to like plain clothes people walking around with backpacks. They're going and doing something, and they're just all walking around. We know it's empty because the grass ain't being cut. We know all this other stuff. But yeah. what are these electronic devices that they're pulling down? I'm kind of leaning towards some things in my mind, but. Well, whatever it is, uh, it's to the, it, it's on the side of the patriots, the patriots. Uh, so there's victory around it. But this is interesting because it actually looks like it might be uh, actual just patriots doing it. Really? Yeah, because I'm getting, this is an independent operation that uh, people came up with this themselves. That's what it looked like too. It's exactly what it looked like. It looked like yeah. me and you in there with backpacks and blue yeah. jeans going around doing something. I don't, yeah, I don't Isn't know. Isn't that interesting? And there are people that are disappointed in what happened and they're heartbroken at uh, what they're happening to their country. Yeah. And uh, they're doing something they believe is for the good of the general population. Interesting. And it's definitely something to do with electronics. So, you know, I don't know if this falls under mind control equipment being removed or something to that effect. I don't know. Okay, that could be part of it. Uh, that could be part of it. It's certainly a, a something that was in the background working on us somehow. Yeah. 
So keeping an eye on everybody. Right. Maybe when there's big crowds around, they they were watching everybody. Yeah. You know, controlling situations. You know how they place every everything's controlled. Like what everything that happened on what was it the sixth? The sixth. I was there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You know it was probably just orchestrated right from the get go. I you hate to say it, but it was a joke. You could tell it was phony right from the very beginning. You could tell yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. Same old stuff, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's part of it for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 wasn't uh real significant, but it was just I was kind of curious on that. And then uh I have the I, I have the MLB thing that I forgot to ask you last time too. So oh, yeah. I'm kind of curious, like who pressured them to pull that all-star game out? And you know, on top of that, I gotta tell these people if you go support them scumbags. You're saying it's okay if the way they're doing it, just like Coca-Cola and all these others. If you're going to support them, don't even talk to me. I, I you know, go talk to somebody else. Yeah. Don't give them people your money. Okay. They're completely deep state operatives at this point. Uh, their leaders are, everything's hidden, manipulated, and their leaders are likely uh, brainwashed, literally. So, so I, their operations have nothing to do with uh, a race war right. not that there even is one really they're just that's just uh made up okay they're just utilizing right. that uh but they're literally um mk ultra uh complete oh. it's all fake wow that's crazy yeah they're placed there they're put in place they're all put in place most of them don't even remember what they did or are doing they are this is like you're on a uh, chain. All kinds of uh, dysfunction going on and memory controls. They don't even know who they are. See that black and doubt person? He's yeah. lost connection with wh who he is or why he does what he does. Wow. So, yeah, I, I guess that goes a very long ways, right? The top of MLB and all the teams yeah. or a lot of the teams obviously yeah. must be back in this. So the people involved might be following somebody just because they otherwise are lost people. Okay. And they really think it's real, but the, the leaders are completely placed there just, just to um, yeah, cause trouble. And, you know, they even say, uh, do you remember that guy? Uh, he ended up in jail for a really long time in the sixties and seventies. He was, what was he? He had, he had that whole cult following. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think of his name. I'm trying to think of his name too, but he was in jail for a really long time. They say that he was actually an MK Ultra guy and he led his people with programming like that. It was to cause like Helter Skelter, that guy. And yeah. it was to cause chaos and it was a planted situation. And he, he didn't, he, he wasn't anything. Like that's why in jail, he would just keep repeating the same stupid things that he repeated and seemed like a genius one minute and a complete idiot the other, you know, cause he was totally mind controlled. And all that there was left was this broken down, creepy mind controlled guy who had no soul. That's horrible. Okay, so, and he was leading all of these foolish youth who thought they were like, really cool and they were just really empty and obviously they weren't brought up with any values okay so they just go looking for idiots like that unfortunately and then yeah. those people follow uh foolishly yeah have you ever like seen up close one of the the a people have you ever seen one of them up close the uh the a n t yeah 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 have you seen okay. no just pictures but i mean that's oh my enough. god they uh one road by uh the little group i was with on the sixth uh it, it was amazing how how dead he looked uh yeah. and he was on a bicycle and i don't even know what he said but i kind of uh basically told him i wasn't taking his bullshit and uh, he got away from me pretty quickly but of yeah. course i am six foot three you know i'm not a small guy and i, I don't take no shit off nobody I, I don't really care you know yeah so that's a good one on that. And uh, I know we did a little bit on Diana, but uh, my, my intuition, um, I call her queen now. And I, I don't know if that's really right yet, uh, but I, I kind of have a feeling it is. She's a pretty special lady anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. And she would be, a, you're right, she'd be a queen to any, most of us anyway. But 
do you does a card show her having that title now or in the future well she's an old old soul and spiritually really connected uh, she's been gone for a really long time as far as not able to be in the public eye. Right. And she's kind of been missing it. She's looking forward to a shift there. None of that says she's passed over. So that's interesting. Right. And the fool. So any day now. So uh, so there's there's discussions about her being able to come out amongst others. She doesn't see herself as a queen, so that's interesting. Right. And that's probably why you feel that way about her, because she's not putting herself in that. Someone who actually believes they're so much better than everybody else, there's something wrong with them. You got that but right. We can choose people to look up to and be an, they are a, an example to us, uh, but she doesn't see herself that way. Uh, so it's a very unique situation. And the cards always say this. It's a very unique situation. Right. It is. No yeah, doubt. So she might literally have been taken off planet for a while, which is why she never got discovered. Oh, I bet she was. But I got pictures of her. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. So, uh, she wouldn't say she's a queen, but I think she's a pretty special human. That's for sure. And maybe even has otherworldly lots of people say she's got mixed with that uh an interesting off-worlder bunch that's really benevolent and kind wow i just forget the name of them i've got so many of them names i i forget so much because i'm like you i just i don't stop searching <laughs> yeah I, I just keep going and everybody's I like let well, all don't my you? viewers fill in the blanks and they're really good at it that's awesome. I yeah, thank God for research. viewers. Yeah. And it's like, it's not because I'm lazy. It's because I know where my talents are and they're not in research. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my memory is so short, but it's, uh, I, I deeply feel things, but I don't always intellectually remember or retain them. You know? Right. So, yeah. okay. So I know we've done the 18 minus one many a times, but one specific question. Yep. Besides, you know, they always say the 10 or less, um, but how many, how many of that team is not human, not counting, not counting almighty God? Because Well, we definitely have some off-worlders there with that energy, because that's, again, that card. Ancient mm -hmm. beings that aren't entirely human. See, and that's what people ain't thinking about. It's not just, it's not just the 10. There's, there's more to it than this. <laughs> yeah. And they're channeling what we call, like, the, the God energy or what you call the almighty God. Mm -hmm. They're channeling that universal knowledge and wisdom. Yeah, and that makes oh, perfectly good sense. They got a channel to it. Yeah. And at first, maybe uh, they didn't they didn't exactly know that, but now they know. Yeah, and I think we all know that now. Channeled information coming. They you they were utilized. Yeah. You know, like we all are. Like I feel like as soon as I figured this stuff out and it just clicked in my head, I knew I had to get I got had to get on board and my whole channel had to go over here. So that's this kind of stuff. Well, yeah, in just my intuition. So obviously I, I, I knew God was involved. It's pretty, uh, Ray Charles could see that, you know? And then I knew that there's at least two entities that are not humans or God involved in this. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah. So I, I, you answered that, whether it's one, two, three, or four. I mean. It feels the, like about half and half because we've got the five card, at, which could be half and half. If there's right. 10, that's five and five. So that's interesting. Three. Yeah. And what yeah, people don't understand. Oh, what people don't understand when, when they say uh, 10 or less, it's seven of them being military, they didn't say they had to be U.S. military now, did they? 
Exactly. Right. People got to pay attention to how things are told to us. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And I, I had a, a request about Joel Osteen. I already know he's whatever, but a lot of people are asking about uh, Joel Osteen, the preacher. Okay. Uh, just what side of the fence is he on kind of thing? Yeah. Uh, he's been on both sides of the fence. Interesting. Uh, I, I wonder if he had a family member that introduced him at a young age to sort of the dark side of things. And uh, then he tried to get out of it, it looks like, and worked really, really hard hmm. and uh, got sort of enticed back in and is now facing some kind of judgment in the near future this is the near future card so he's going to be facing a judgment and he's quite aware that uh he's in big big trouble so he might have either been told that or he's already got one of those ankle things on or he just he's seen other people uh that he's close to uh, go the way of um getting themselves in big trouble yeah, I think the whole culture knows what time it is. I think you're right. I mean, how could they not? Yeah. So he's been on both sides, uh, partly because uh, a family member was connected and uh, got him involved. That's. So I'm not that, making excuses. I'm just saying. It, it's so unfortunate that this happens and happens and happens and. Yeah. This is going to stop people. I mean, it's going to turn around. It's it's soon. It's going to turn around. The dark yeah. can't live in a bright light. They can't do it. Yeah. I feel like he spent some time really um, trying to be good. And then he would kept uh, getting the surrender card. He kept getting uh, pulled back in because of the pleasures part. And I feel like if he puts himself out there to be a really pious person, I'm afraid that's not what he's like. Right. Yeah. And with that, you know, people, you know, whatever church you go to, you're going to have to, you have to watch these people. You have to know who they are, just like our, your congressman, your sent. You got to know yeah. who these people are. Yeah. And remember that they're not above you. Uh, they're humans and keep an eye on them. And some of them aren't even human, even right. the more reason to keep an eye on them. And don't let uh, anybody who's got that kind of power anywhere near your kids and infants do not know nobody unless they really earn your trust literally you don't like my mom was always pushing us towards the priests uh i was brought up catholic she'd have yeah. them over for dinner one priest that i know of for sure in our parish got taken out with cuffs on the guy was a total you know what oh my god and he had him over for dinner my mom has five daughters uh, she had five we were young girls and two boys and he probably got an eyeful that day because uh she had seven kids and they were uh, we were all gorgeous kids thank you like lots of kids are <laughs> right and right. uh you know and he gave me the absolute creeps and that guy about three months later after coming for dinner uh he got hauled off in handcuffs and mom was making making us go sit on his knee and stuff okay oh my god ew you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Because he's a priest, so he must be good. No. Right. Because he's a priest, a minister, he must be good. No. Well, and that's what people think. Oh, would even be, I'd be sus more suspicious of those people, frankly. Well, yeah, you you know, you got to think of everybody. Uh, the dark side gets a hold yeah. of them. It doesn't, doesn't care what color your skin is or yeah. it doesn't care, doesn't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we might learn to spiritually connect with God, universe, spirit world, personally. With the, all of this going on, I think we're going to stop 
needing or searching out go-betweens because it's kind of lazy if you think about it. It is. your own spiritual work. Don't assume or put it in the hands of anybody else. I absolutely love connecting spiritually every single day. Yes, me too. It makes a big difference in just your inner peace. I mean, good Lord. All the patience we've had for this little rodeo here. I mean, this has been a bumpy road, no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. This is huge. (laughs) And thank God for people like us that know half this is BS. 90% of it's BS. Mm Mm-hmm. And I, I guess one, the other question I have is, uh, is JAG officer still in D.C. doing any business? Because they were there, um, but that was around, you know, January. I know they were there. I seen them. And also on a side note, the uh, NBC and all of the, the big news tower that they had in D.C., yep. that's, that's an empty building now. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Like, if people think there's nothing going on, God help okay, you. Give your head a shake. There's stuff going on. Oh, yeah. And just because you can't see it doesn't, and that's another thing we're going to learn. Because people like yourself, Dave, and myself, my whole life, I dabbled in the world of the, the unseen. Me too. Like, yeah. Uh, like in yeah. tarot readings, uh, you, you know how many uh, future partners and children I predicted for people? <laughs> that's interesting yeah thousands of them and then i'd end up reading their kids and then their kids would get pregnant i predict their kids and uh how many and what wow a boy girl how many and who their partner what their partner would be like right down to you know how they'd feel about them and some of the bumpiness that might come along with the relationship and uh you know you can't see that right but it's it's there yeah just because you can't see something doesn't mean and then and then you bump into it and this is where people are having trouble they're like well you've been talking about this for a year that's because we're giving you the heads up right we're trying to give you information yeah do some of your own research that's what i tell people do some of your own research It it will help you grow tremendously yeah so did you have anything else you wanted to look at? Uh, just about the uh, JAG officers. Are they still in D.C.? Oh, yeah. Oh. So the JAG officers. And do you want to tell me what that is exactly? Uh, they're basically uh, uh, military lawyers. So you could say prosecutors, judges, lawyers. Oh, right. Okay. Uh-huh. Wow, so big changes around them and lots of flipping sides here and deals, backdoor deals. Interesting. Does that make any sense? Kind of, sort of, yeah. And a whole lot of them up up against the wall here. We got a whole lot of them. So the the whole bunch or the whole operation is changed for good and it'll never be the same. And there's been a lot of people discovered to be really disappointing. And even um, came up to the surface as not good people. So a lot of stuff's come up to, a lot of swamp has come up to be revealed and revealed a lot of maybe people. I don't know if that makes any sense. Well, it does. I, I think they're, uh, they're they're still not getting a free ride. I promise you that, people. <laughs> yeah. They they may have to make some deals to, to keep their heart beating or something like that or... Uh, I don't know. I've heard there's also a lot of them are getting shipped off Earth. I've heard it a lot. Yeah. yeah. No, they're in really big uh, doo-doo, let's just say. That right. card says, yeah, they're by this, you know, they're, a lot of them aren't, aren't going to ever be seen again. Uh, this card says, but there's, they're busy making deals and flipping sides, and, but they're still getting in really big trouble. So I don't think it's letting them off the hook. No, I guarantee it's They're not getting off the hook. Yeah. No free passes. Yeah, and I'm getting that we're going to hear more about this in about four months. The wor- like we get more uh, literal information in about four months, which is about fall, which is about kind of what I've been getting for quite a while. So I get June, things really lighten up in the whole thing around the whole fake illness scare thing mm-hmm. uh, really, really be- becomes obsolete. It's almost like it goes from 
it's cranked right up and then all of a sudden our attention goes over here because of some situations right. not sure which ones take our attention and completely this falls as soon as they're not drumming up the fear and stuff because that's the only thing it's got left is the stories nothing's yeah. real like uh when people say oh yeah we, we've had this big i always correct them and say uh it was downgraded from that p word in march of last year even yeah. the who won't uh put that on their website they buried it of course but they won't put it on their website uh yeah. but they won't admit to that because they're going to get sued uh they're, they're going to be obsolete anyway oh, absolutely and this all comes out and it already has really yeah uh, this is the biggest scam ever pulled on the human race we're coming for those guys. Yeah. From every angle, people are not like, and the whole thing's going to get dropped like a hot potato by the media. Yeah. And that's worldwide too. So, you know, yeah. don't that's just, worldwide. Yeah, yeah, don't just think Canada or United States people, because this is definitely worldwide. Yeah, it's absolutely worldwide. Um, I guess I was just kind of wondering, there's maybe a general question we could throw in there, but we, I think we went over most of the questions at different times. Um, you've done so many readings. Uh, we did 45 and we think he's going to start surfacing in the next two or three or four weeks. Right. Um, uh, in a different way. Yep. Mm -hmm. But he's never gone anywhere. That's what I get. Right. And that's hard to tell people because, you know, you don't see him. Really. Well, you actually do. He was actually on air force one three or four days ago. He yeah. was in the beast. He was also in Georgia before they passed that uh, that thing. He was there two or three days before that in Air Force One mm -hmm. and in the beast. I seen it. It wasn't a different date. I know what it was. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's People always like, always trying to. Yeah, they're always trying to say no, 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 no. And it's like, uh, yeah, because one of my yeah. friends, he was talking about, you know, China B. And I'm like, do you really think that's him? And he's like. Well, well, yeah. I said, well, what about this? What about this line here? Yeah. Do, you want, do you want to see it? Yeah. And he, he changed the subject, of course. I'm yeah. just like, yeah. People that you think are awake are still really yeah. not paying attention. It's horrifying. It's hor like, why would they be letting uh, the White House yeah. be going to ruin? Okay, just ask yourself that. Right. Okay, Don't nobody's watching the door of the place. It needs uh, the lawn mowed. Give me a break. I see that grass and I just laugh because, I mean, we, we already know. Yeah. <laughs> they're not cutting the grass. They're not fixing not the flowers. There, they're right? not washing windows. It's just telling you just how many <laughs> sleepers there are. <laughs> yeah, but even people that are somewhat, you know, they, they still look at you like you're crazy. And I'm like, yeah, you'll see. I, I Same thing I tell everybody. You'll see. It's. I can't yeah. tell you when, but you're going to see this. Yeah, I've been saying that too. <laughs> it's just like a big circle. Uh, the people that watch us know, or yeah. at least know something. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Um, that That's a pretty good coverage. I think we covered a lot of different subjects. I get so many requests for the RH negative. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I think that should enlighten some people because I never really looked at it as bad. Yes, everything can be light or dark, and that's what people have to remember. Yeah, and, and that's the same about tools like tarot. Uh, like they were hidden from us, and we were told they were bad. Guess why? Because they didn't want a, a powerful tool in, in our hands, because we might figure some stuff out about these guys. Right. They don't it, want somebody like me looking at what are they up to, uh, so they keep it all to themselves. I know. it's It's horrible. Yeah. You know, you could go on and on. All of the things yeah. that he suppressed from us is just sickening. Yeah. I mean, it's it's but, sickening. Yeah, but I'm using these tools for good. So. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. you've helped a lot of people. I I believe so. You know, yeah, it gives good information, and that's all you can do is give yeah. good information. Yeah. It's fun to bring this stuff to light because every yeah. once in a while, don't you say, "Oh, that's interesting." It is. Oh. Yeah. I get surprised as much as anybody by the answers. Yeah. Uh, I guess you use your intuition too, but you fall more to your cards to I do confirm. I do. I guess you'd I, say I, I just rely on them for the final word because I know I'm a human, so I might slant it 
Right. I've, I've got really strong opinions. Like, look what happened when I was looking at uh, Mr. T at the beginning. I was totally biased. And I was that was pointed out to me by lots of great patriots, by the wow. way. And good for them for pointing it out. And uh, then my cards started pointing it out very gently because the really? is all loving, right? The God oh. energy is very loving. So it was very lovingly point. And every time I'd get, I'd look into these situations, he was turning out to be the good guy in this and that everything was switched. Oh and my God. The Dems were the bad guys. And I was like, what? But CNN says, so I had to stop reading on him for a while till I I did some of my own research guy schooled me the, the guy that my tech guy on the tarot by Janine channel he already knew this stuff but he he wasn't pushing it on me he was like right. figure it out and then I had to just take a step back do some other kinds of readings for a while huh. while I worked on it myself with my cards and they helped me understand who he really was and that's another thing people got to understand free will. You have the free will to do whatever the hell you want. God gave it to you. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, you have to make up your own mind. Yeah. No doubt. Right. Yeah. That's the whole thing about the earth plane. It's a free will thing. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why these uh, creeps, these uh, dark cult creeps in the deep state, they can't get away with this if we know that. And they've been hiding that knowledge from us, how powerful we are. Yeah, in some of the stuff they put in movies, and you know, if, if they tell you it's fake, it's probably real. If they tell you it's yeah. real, it's probably fake. You got it. It's just crazy, but it sounds great. I appreciate your time, and uh, I guess I'll email you and see if I can get back on your calendar. Your calendar's huge, right? Yeah. Well, I I'm also moving to Vancouver, so it's pretty soon. Yeah, like probably by July 1st. My son will move there sooner because he wants to get used to the place, uh, you know, for college next year. Yeah. Or, well, it's not next year. It's in September. Hopefully so, that place yeah. would be a little more straightened out by the time you get there. Oh, yeah, exactly. That would right? be nice. It's, yeah, that'd be really nice because they're really being silly, even worse than Alberta, for sure. I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. So I'll email you and just get on when I can. And I, I really appreciate it. I know okay. my listeners, my, my listeners love you too. So right on. we appreciate you. Thanks, Dave. All right. Thank you. Have a good evening. Okay. Yeah, you too.